Let's bust a big myth today, ladies. Cholesterol going up in menopause isn't automatically bad. It's actually part of your body adapting. So as estrogen declines, cholesterol often rises. And you might be thinking, well, why? Because one of its main jobs, making hormones, is now redundant. So I want you to think of it like having a load of eggs in your fridge because you love making omelettes. And one day you decide you don't like omelettes anymore, but you keep buying the eggs. Of course, you're going to have more eggs in your fridge than you need. P.S. Eggs are not going to raise your cholesterol. Here's a surprising stat. Around 50% of people who have heart attacks don't have high cholesterol. Half. And get this, LDL isn't just bad cholesterol. It's actually part of your immune system inside your cardiovascular system. So when LDL goes up, it often is responding to inflammation, toxins, or even infection. So instead of blaming LDL, we should be asking, what's it trying to respond to? So how do you really assess risk? The answer, a fractionated lipid panel. So this panel breaks down your cholesterol into more precise components like LDL particles, VLDL, remnant cholesterol, and even looks at particle size and inflammation markers like HSCRP. So if you're going through menopause and your cholesterol is rising, don't panic. It's a clue, not a diagnosis. Working with functional health practitioners who understand this and don't just offer you a statin could actually save your life. Heart health after 40 isn't about chasing numbers. It's about understanding what is going on in your body. So let's get smarter, not scared of eggs.